In this video, you will learn about Supertory's injection site features. By the end of the video, you'll be able to set up, use, and replace Supertory's various injection sites. To prepare for simulations with scalp vein access, place the drain hose in the port behind the right side of the head. Open the drain on the hose and place the hose into a collection bucket beneath the drain port. During procedures, continuous infusions can be passed through the insert into the drain bucket. To replace the scalp vein insert, gently remove it and align the hose of the new insert with the port in the head. Then gently press the edges of the insert until it is flush with the rest of the scalp. To prepare the hand for withdrawal and infusion exercises, place a drain hose into the port on the radial side of the forearm. Open the clamp on the drain hose and place the end into a collection bucket beneath the arm. To fill the vasculature, use a 24 gauge needle and inject a mixture of water and the included Gamard blood concentrate. Push the blood concentrate through the arm until it comes out the drain hose. Clamp the drain hose until the simulation. Once students prepare to inject fluids to the hand, open the drain hose. To replace the intravenous hand, rotate the forearm away from the torso. Once the forearm clicks, gently remove it from the upper arm. Rotate the mechanism completely away from the torso before installing the new hand. Then carefully place the hand on the mechanism palm up. Once the hand is all the way on the mechanism, rotate the hand towards the body to secure it in place. Supertory has bilateral mid-axillary inserts for needle decompression and tube thoracostomy. When inserting a chest tube, the insert will bleed during incisions. To replace the mid-axillary insert, gently remove it from the torso. The replacement inserts are labeled for the appropriate side. To install the new insert, gently place it into the opening and press the edges until it is flush with the rest of the torso skin. To install the umbilical cord, make note of the orientation tab and press it into the torso. Insert the drain hose into the port on the back of the right hip and place the hose into a collection bucket below the drain port. Using the included needleless med prep cannula, push fluids through the umbilical vein until it comes out the drain hose. Then clamp the drain. During the umbilical catheterization procedure, open the drain before infusions begin. To install the post umbilicus navel, remove the umbilical cord and insert the navel making note of the orientation tab. The drain for the tibial intraosseous access site is found on the back of the leg. Insert the drain to the port, open the clamp, and place the end of the hose into a collection bucket beneath the drain port. After the procedure, use two fingers to press the intraosseous site from behind the leg to remove it. To insert the new tibial bone, align the bone with the hole in the leg. 